All our guys say hi to me. I'm somewhere in the corner of the screen. So today is an upper body strength day, and as you guys can see, I'm doing some bench press. And I'll be talking later in this video about you know why I have reduced my weight and you know uh, why I'm doing a lot of uh, lower reps. <coughs> it's called as auto regulation. It'll be you know uh, discussed later on the video. So before we move any further, I want to tell you guys that this video has a lot of uh, important information. So, so I want you guys to you know watch this video until the end. Do not skip any parts for your own good because a lot of things have been bottled up inside this, and there's a lot of information in this video. So keep that in mind. So we finished some bench press, and then we moved on to some uh, barbell rows. Okay. Now you can either do barbell rows or you can do dumbbell rows. All of this is a part of the program, and that will be out pretty soon. Probably in the next six weeks or five weeks, the program will be out. So uh, that is that. Probably when I get back to Mangalore, you know, I'll release the program. So I'm doing around three sets of barbell rows, around seven to eight reps, as heavy as possible, and I don't go till failure. So that is the concept of this. So after that, we moved on to some overhead presses or OHPs. And again, guys, I might use a little bit of thrust, as you guys can see. But uh, yeah, sometimes I did eliminate that. I I still need to work on that. So after that. We moved on to some what we do. What we do? We moved on to some. Oh my God! I forgot this. Like, I need to see the clip. So we uh, pull-ups. So we moved on some weighted pull-ups. Again, guys, three sets, seven to eight reps. Now close to failure. Okay, almost close to failure. That is what we're aiming for here. All these things will be discussed in detail in the program. Okay. So I'm using a normal belt for you know putting the weight inside my uh, the belt for weighted pull-ups. So that is that. Do not skip the video. A lot of information coming up. Thanks for watching, and you know uh, I'll see you guys on the next clip. All right, guys. So what's going on? Hope you guys can hear me. So first of all, for the past few days, my videos have been getting like they were all vlogs. Some people liked it, but you know it was not informative. In my opinion, it was not informative because I was not giving you guys any you know honest advice and all these things. But now, from now on, my vlogs are going to be a mix of vlogs and then like you know uh, informative content. So that is why I started this clip off with some workouts. So today was an upper upper body strength day, as you guys saw. So what I'm going to talk to you guys uh, today is that I'm going to talk to you guys about a concept. It is called as auto regulation. Okay, it is called as auto regulation, and it is very important in your lift. So what auto regulation is is that sometimes when you're fatigued and sometimes when you're not able to lift your expected amount of weight, instead of you know trying and going till failure, what you do is you kind of regulate the weight and then make sure you stay within your rep range. So uh, as you guys saw today, I was supposed to do 80% of my weight with five, uh, with like six reps. But what I ended up doing was that I did the same 80% of my weight with just three reps. I could have done auto regression in two ways. One way is I could have reduced my weight instead of doing 80% of my one rep max. I could have done something like 75% of my one rep max and then did the same as five reps. Or what? I, or the other case is that. It is what I did, right? I kept the weight same, but then I reduced my reps. I did like 80% of my weight with just three reps. The reason why I kind of brought auto regulation today is that yesterday was a shoulder day for me, and my you know front delts were really taxed. So that is why I couldn't like lift the same amount of weight on a bench. So you know to get things back normal, I wanted to perform my get back to my routine, which was an upper body strength day, which involved me to do my you know uh, bench press. That is the reason why I kind of auto regulated. So hope you guys got the concept. You don't always have to lift the same weight. Sometimes when you are taxed, when your body is not able to lift heavy, there is there is nothing wrong in reducing the weight a bit and then you know going for the uh, aimed rep range or making sure the weight is same and reducing the rep range. So that is that. Hope you guys got the point. So next clip.
gym time now, guys. I'm gonna go ahead to the gym. But I want you guys to stay tuned because something very important is coming up. I'm gonna talk to you guys about a very important thing. So stay tuned for that. I'm gonna go to the gym. I'll come back and talk to you guys about that. All right, guys. So got back from the gym. We hit a low body strength day. It was epic. I went to Gold's gym actually. I went to Gold's gym. They had a style pass, so I went there. Long story, Bharat could not go to Snap Fitness, so we had to go to some other gym, whatever. <laughs> anyway, we went there and it was actually pretty good. It was, it was a really good gym. And uh, we did some squats, we did some deadlifts, like it was all strength oriented, so not a lot of reps. We did like, you know, 80% of our one rep max for 5 sets and 5 reps. So that's what we did. And we finished off with some accessory work, with some hamstring curls and calf raises. So that was a workout. Anyway, moving on, coming to the point of the video and the title of the video, okay? So first, listen listen to what I'm saying with an open mind. Please don't get me wrong. Uh, that is something that I want to put first. So uh, the point that I'm trying to make is that when you start going to the gym, okay? When you first start your fitness life or, you know, when you first start going to the gym and if you work out, Good enough, okay. I'm not, not, I'm not talking about being very, very, very precise with the workout, being exact. I'm talking about at least going and doing, you know, good amount of workout every single day, okay. And your, your diet is on point, everything's on point. You will make gains. You will definitely make gains. No, no question about that. For your first year, no matter what you do, if you're consistent, you will make gains, and you will actually make tremendous amount of progress, okay. It happened to me like the, the day I stepped into, in, into the gym. I was very consistent. So it the the rate at, the rate at which my growth went was like it, it the beginning started going up. That is what made me you know get into gym more more and more. And see the thing is that until you're a beginner, everything works. Everything works until you're a beginner. Okay. When you start going into the intermediate level, that is when not all the things will work as efficiently as they they were working before. You you understand the point. So the more advanced you are, the more precise you need to be with your training, the more exact you need to be with your training, the more scientific you need to be with your training. Okay. Now there are so many programs you can see, listen to me guys. I'm not selling any program. Okay. Even the program that we, we are making, we are going to put it out for free. So I'm not getting anything out of this, but I don't want you guys to make the same mistake that I did. Well, I didn't make it for a long time, but I kind of was going to make it, but then I realized that. Okay. So I don't want you guys to do that. This advice is mainly for people who are in intermediates and people who are advanced, advanced lifters, okay? The thing is that the more experience you get with lifting, the more precise you, you need to be. There are so many programs out there which say that, you know, do seven, do eight sets continuously, just take 15 seconds rest, do, you know, 10 reps, 15 reps, do 100 reps, all these things. And they might work for the athlete that you follow, okay? The person who's uh, advertising it, it might work for them. That does not mean that it will work for you. Just because see, I'm being very open, guys. Like, I'm a huge Steve Book fan. Okay, Steve Book is like, he's, he's like, you know, I, I worship Steve Book. But that doesn't mean no matter what Steve Book says, I'll go and follow. No, if Steve Book says something, I'll think about it. Okay, is it going to work? Is there a scientific backing to it? Okay, if, if there is something like that, then okay, it might work. So that's the thing, like. You can like someone, but that does not mean you need to follow everything they say. Do your own research. There are several, several, several researched, you know, uh, scientific people out there who can, who give real advice. And these are natural bodybuilders, okay? And second thing is that it, it is a whole different thing if someone is on steroids. And it is a whole different thing if someone is natural. If someone is, someone is on steroids, the way they train is completely different. So it is not possible for you guys to adapt that, okay? Now, I, now for example, if someone tells you that, Train four hours a day. Train four hours a day, four hours every single day. Do chest one day, back one day, and all these things. You really think if you're a natural bodybuilder, you can recover from that? It is not at all possible. Okay. So you need to. Yes, guys. See, hard work will definitely give you results. But hard work needs to be coupled with smart work. Okay. Hard work is not just going to the gym and lifting heavy weights and lifting, doing a lot of reps and sweating in the gym. That is not hard work. Hard work is going to the gym being scientific like you know training in a very smart way getting out of the gym sticking to your diet being consistent to the diet that is what hard work is and also going and doing a research okay what works for me 
it all couples it all like bottles down into something called as hard work it is not just what you do in the gym so you no know, hope you guys got my point do not get offended i'm not saying that you no know, everything that out there is not true make sure you do your research properly make sure you follow the right see i'm not saying make sure you listen to the right people make sure you listen to the right people and also it is always if you are a natural athlete it is always better to listen to natural athlete because they know what you're going through they will give you like you know they only tell what they are doing and if it works for them it will definitely work for you for example there is something called as progressive overload which will definitely build your muscle okay which is accumulating your volume over a period of time that will definitely give you results and that is proven you, like but nobody knows if 100 reps will give you big biceps you get the point so that is the point i'm trying to make so intermediate pe- people don't waste your time and be very careful with the program you're following be very careful with your approach to training with your with your approach to dieting and don't just blindly follow what people tell you please don't do that don't just blindly follow people tell you educate yourself see guys if you don't educate yourself and if you don't get results you will get bored over a period of time and you will leave this lifestyle and i don't want you guys to do that i want you guys to get results from it and i want you guys to stick to it so for that we need to keep progressing and if you want to keep progressing you need to take a proven and a proven approach and also build your knowledge over a period of time so thanks a lot for watching hope this video helped you guys out that is that i also want to tell you something else. yeah so uh, online coaching my online coaching slots are free right now so if you guys are interested in online coaching send me an email at gautamansuperfit@gmail.com it is down in the screen somewhere here and also i'll put it in the description box So if you want online coaching if you want online coaching send me an email that is that and hope you guys like the video like and subscribe and also hope this video is informative because i've been getting some comments saying that the videos are not informative lately so yeah i i do agree with that thanks a lot for watching and i'll see you guys on the next one